Hey, this is Kev with Blender Binge. In this video, I'm going to tackle a, kind of a beginning concept in nodes, and I keep getting asked the same question by my subscribers, so I decided to make this fast video to show you how to do this and this inside nodes. Okay? Because a lot of you probably don't know what this is called. This is called the reroute node, so now you know that, and this is called the frame. And here is how you set those up. Ready? Let's go. So say you're sitting in this wonderful scene with this awesome texture on your Suzanne head monkey model, and you have these two lines coming out from a color ramp. So you want one going into the color and you want one going into emission, right? For whatever reason, I don't know why. I'm not going to worry about data types, but here's how you go. If you want that little node that connects both, you simply hold down shift, right click and drag over whatever noodles you want to connect, and it gives you this. The next thing you're going to want to do is move it. So you're going to start doing this and realizing you can't move it. Aha! And then you're going to go crazy. Here's how you do it. You select it, you hit G on the keyboard, and you move it to wherever you want. And when you're done moving it, you, you click one more time and it's down. Okay? Want it again? Select it, hit G. Okay? You get it. There. If you don't want this connected anymore, you hold down Alt, click and drag, and it's away. And now you have this little, little, little reroute node sitting here all by itself and you can select it and hit delete. Okay, gone. Now, say that you don't have that connected but you want to branch one off of here. Same thing. Hold down shift, right mouse, and drag. Now if you, for some reason your right mouse drag shift thing doesn't work, okay, you can, you can simply go back over here to add, layout, reroute, drag it over, and then there you go, same, same way as, as the shift method. And then you can just click from here, drag, and plug it in wherever you want. And again, select this, hit G, move it, and that's it. That's pretty much really all there is to it. And it really helps to control uh, the, the flow of these things, because these can get all over the place, like especially in compositing. So if you look up here in this video where I did compositing, and you'll see it right here, uh, th this helps a whole lot here. Got that. Next, frames. Here's how you make frames. You can select whatever nodes you want. In this case, I'll select these two. Hit Control J and you get a frame. Okay, it's kind of like join. And then in the frame here, you can, you can change the color by selecting it, going over here to this little arrow or hitting N on the keyboard, and this comes up. So here you can give it a label, like frame, and you can give it a color. So let's give it a color first. Okay, so you do this little color checkbox. Go in here and choose a color. I like that. I'll use that. And then label, you can just go like, I'm pretty. And now, now it's called I'm pretty and whatever you want to call it. And then you also have label size here. Okay. Label size. That's cool. So you can go like all the way down to eight or all the way up to like 64. 20 is fine for most people. And when you zoom in, it gets bigger anyway. And then you have shrink. Shrink is important because if this is off and you move these things around, like you take one of these in here and you move it around, and then you get this big block here and you're like, hey, this is horrible, I hate this, like it's not even pretty anymore. Like the way to fix that is you just, you can just move this thing back, select the frame, and then hit shrink. And it just conforms to the area of wherever these things are. So it keeps it nice and neat, okay, nice and tidy. And lastly here, I want to go into, uh, like, I'm not going to go into text over here because that's something a little bit different. I don't want to go into that. But I will be going into how to take these out. So if you want to take these out of the frame, okay, you don't want that in anymore, you select it, you hit Alt-P, and that just takes it out. And another way to do this is you can, so you can have this selected if you want it back in. Hold down Shift, select this, and just hit Control-P, okay, like parent, or... Okay, if you don't want this, if this isn't inside here anymore, and here's another way to do this. Okay, say that this is not in, say this is not in here anymore. You can just drag this in, and it just automatically goes in there. So those are, those are two ways to do this. And another way to do this is you can lay down your own frame. Just go add, layout, frame, and then you can just drag stuff into a frame. So like if you want this frame, drag this in frame, and then you have new frame. And that's pretty much how that works, okay? And lastly here, we have groups, which is another way to organize this. Uh, I'll basically briefly touch on this. If you select these guys and you hit Control-G, that groups it. 
So you have a group input and a group output, and then you can work and you can build up this entire network between these two things inside here. And when you hit this little arrow up here, okay, that whole thing now is really nice and neat inside its own little group node. And you can do all sorts of things like expose parameters on here and stuff, but that, that will make this video way longer than it needs to be right now. So I'm gonna leave that out. So if you want, you could do a search for node groups and probably get like 11,000 videos on this and it'll be great. So if you want to take that out of the node group, all you have to do is select the node group, right click and just say ungroup or control alt G, and now you're back in your frame. And hopefully that answers your questions on how to set this stuff up and how to uh, kind of make this a little bit neater for you going forward when you start doing a lot more stuff with nodes. With that, I'll finish this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.